Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. <laughs> cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you wanna go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Miss Ronan, did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. Must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. Oh, I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Michael, 
You want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ask? Mm. Plain candles are fine. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Mm, I'll take the chips. So, uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, it's hard to beat little Cleos, but depends on conditions. Wait, is this a pop quiz? <laughs> hey, I had to be sure. What, you think I'm, like, catfishing you? Well, can you blame me for being skeptical of an outdoorsy Ronin? Hmm, no. No, I cannot. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! Any drink preferences? We can get some juice for tomorrow morning. Right. I'll grab some OJ. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah. I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Got any big plans in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. I'll take the strong I'm gonna one. Be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? Ooh. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that I may have a little less going on in the hair department but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprise, it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. 
You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. No, never mind. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne! Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? You hearing this? Marianne is looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, 
okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What's wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. <laughs> 